what up it's your girl jimmy pink um also known as the color critic i never really intended on doing this video tonight i work in a factory now i know it's been a while since i've actually been on screen in these videos and a lot of the reason is that because nobody wants to get home off of work get to the crib at like a quarter to 12 and then put on hair and makeup after you've been in a sweaty ass factory all day to come on camera but I'm going to have to do this right now because for my subscribers or the 10, 15 people that actually did see the original video, I'm trying to build a new channel, okay? Obviously, it's called The Color Critic. I have a new channel and everything, but I do have a lot of hits on a lot of videos on this channel, and I I posted this video to this channel to try to generate buzz for the other channel where I'm going to be strictly reviewing things with color in the title. Okay, I was going to take a nostalgic route, but I'm at work, I go through my Twitter feed Saturday night and I hear about this song by somebody named Post Malone, the song's called White Iverson. The name caught my attention because we as black people do that shit all the time. I'm the black Martha Stewart. I'm, you know, so I'm like, white Iverson. So this is got to be a white dude then, right? Okay. Well, the previous video on this channel is top 10 white rappers. So I'm like, I don't discriminate. You calling yourself the white Iverson. You got to be better rapping than fucking Iverson was because he sucks. So let me hear it. So I watched the video at work. And I'm like, boom, I was going to come home and do a video for the new channel. I got my topic. This is perfect timing. Let's rock. So it posted Sunday night. So I go to work today. I'm literally in my notebook. This is the notebook right here. Working on more content for y'all. I got to get this channel up. I'm like, the top 10 did good. My next video was either going to be a top 10 TV characters with colors in the name or... I was going to review Jackie Brown. Okay. I come home, take a look at my YouTube channel, get up, watch some of my people like the Nostalgia Critic, the Rap Critic, um, Todd in the Shadows, people that made me feel like I'm already doing this pop culture criticism thing, but maybe I could actually do it the right way. So I come on here and say, let me see if they got some new videos. Let me get some inspiration. You know, make sure I'm not doing exactly what they're doing. I don't want to do what nobody else is doing. So I come in. YouTube is already up on my computer. Because I leave it on YouTube. It's a big ass thing to say I'm blocked from YouTube until I go through some copyright fucking school. Because somebody, I violated a copyright. Now, I've done this in the past, but now I know about fair use and all this shit. So, I'm like, okay. I don't even take the motherfucker. I'm going to keep it real. YouTube, do what you got to do. I ain't even motherfucker pay attention to the class because I know the copyright rules. I answered the questions without even watching the video. I also know the rules of fair use. I made sure I read up on any of that before I started posting this new content and before I started this new fucking channel. So now I'm like, okay, well, I see some of the things that was in there. Maybe it was some pictures I got from Google or something like that. I got a picture of James Franco in the video, dressed up from Spring Breakers. I'm thinking these mother it's these motherfuckers because, you know, the movie people is horrible about it. It's the motherfucker Post Malone himself. Copyright infringement. I got 596 followers. Um... My last video has 8,000 something views on it. Why the fuck do you drop a song in a video if you don't want nobody to talk about it? Now, yeah, I'm going to keep it 100. I think the song is shit. Shit. I think it sucks. Anybody come out talking about something, I'm, swag I'm saucing on you. I'm swagging on you like it's 2000 motherfucking 8. First and foremost. Second of all, you in the fucking desert, your braids is well done. When you on the inside, your braids crawling. You know why? Because white people ain't supposed to get fucking braids. Yeah, I said it. It's a texture to your hair. It's the reason why people of color get braids. Because it's a texture to our hair. Your shit looks like garbage. Now, on top of that, my channel 
is a comedy channel. When I do these videos, like, I pop off. Because it's funny when I pop off. Not this video, because I'm dead fucking serious right now. But when I pop off, it's funny. It's comedy. It's jokes. At the end of the day, it's still drawing attention to your motherfucking song. Everybody ain't necessarily going to like what I'm saying, but they listening to your song. The next motherfucker, one of my motherfucking subscribers who listen to the video might be like, oh, fuck what she talking about. Give me the big fucking thumbs down and be like, you know what? That shit live as hell and go buy your shit. Because that's how this YouTube shit work, nigga. But you butt hurt because I said the song was garbage, which to me it is. I'm so tired of motherfuckers thinking now they can do motherfucking rap music because everybody is singing because Drake started that shit. First of all, Drake is talented. He sings, he raps, he sing raps, but he also actually sings. This motherfucker is singing the same three notes over and over and over again. Ain't no real motherfucker song. I'm tired of motherfuckers doing it and I call us motherfucking famous people. I don't like when Future do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, but guess what? If I did a motherfucking video on, on Future, I bet you it wouldn't be his ass that did it. Maybe his company. But this shit came from you, Post Malone. This shit came from you, nigga. Just like you trying to get on with your career, I'm trying to get on with mine. I want to go to fucking Comic-Con and be on the motherfucking internet panel. You should be motherfucking blessed that I already have this channel somewhat established because I got views, nigga. Not on every video, but I got views. And I tagged it to the last video I got this already got over 8,000 and climbing. So, you butt hurt because I ain't like your song? That's, that's the only thing I can think of. Like, I'm starting a new channel. I ain't did a new video and I don't know how long, nigga. I work six to seven days out the week. And I took time on my day off to do a video about your garbage ass song. First of all, shave your motherfucking face before you get in the video. Try that. You look a hot goddamn mess. You in the fucking desert riding on fucking cars that we know the fuck are not yours. And you comparing yourself to Allen Iverson and that nigga went broke. Great fucking job. So at the end of the day, you can have the video taken down. You can't take this one down, nigga. Your song ain't in it. Your image ain't in it. Only thing in it is your name. And guess what? You can't get a video taken down for that shit, boo-boo. Don't get full of yourself because you had a video on MTV. So a lot of people have videos on MTV. And, but quite honestly, the fact that you just played, de debuted your shit on MTV and not World Star, let me know you a phony-ass nigga anyway. To me. To me. But you know, motherfuckers like that garbage shit these days. That's what's popping. In any case, y'all, check out the new channel, The Color Critic. Follow me on Twitter. I'll post the shit before I post this motherfucker video. And I can't believe, and make it so bad is, I gotta do this shit right after the Ghostface Action Bronson shit. Not like I'm putting myself up there with Ghostface, but I'm like, nigga, motherfuckers is at you white people any fucking way over shit like this. Why would you even do that to yourself right now? Now, what a fucking world star get a hold of this and this shit get a million motherfucking hits? Then you gonna look like a bitch because some chick on YouTube with 596 motherfucking followers, nigga, had to put you in your fucking place on fucking YouTube. Stupid ass, nigga. I'm done. I'm the color critic. And remember, the world is not just black and white. There is always somewhere over the rainbow.